At the time of recording this, it is Thursday, December 7th at 12.07 a.m. I have a couple of notes, but I just kind of wanted to talk, like, about something. And the something that I decided to talk about without having a script is New Year's and New Year's resolutions and how they're kind of weird. Like the whole year thing. I know this isn't really a galaxy brain take, but splitting up your life into segments of 12 months doesn't really... It doesn't really mean anything. You know, if we had a different kind of calendar, I could be 64 years old and I'd have the same experiences. I'd have the same tense shoulders and... Mm, lower back pain. But the way that we have it right now, I am 23 years old and in about three and three quarter months, I'll be turning 24 officially and inarguably out of my early 20s. I will be in my mid 20s. Some would argue I'm already in my mid 20s, but I refuse to hear that. Coming up to the new year, it makes me think about where I was last new year and anyone who knows me could tell you that i'm definitely in a better place than i was last december which in a weird way is kind of funny considering that literally i'm in the same place currently i'm living with my mom temporarily actually this last january i left the us and i was gone for nine months and i came back this september so it is not nearly as depressing as it sounds, only slightly embarrassing. <sighs> what do people do for New Year's? I didn't even think. I have my TV on right now, I was playing videos of space, but right now there's an ad for like, Walmart, it's a Walmart ad. That was why my face was blue. There, the space is back. But anyways, what I was getting to was lists. The biggest thing that people do for New Year's, more than the ball drop, more than partying, more than having to buy a new calendar, and having to write a new number on all of their documents and homework and things, is make resolutions. And like a lot of people just keep them in their head, but for me, I like to have lists. So let's do this together. If you want, grab a piece of paper or grab your phone and let's make up our lists. Let's start with the big three. What are the top main things that you want to accomplish this year? For me, my big things right now are get a job in my field, which is music engineering. I'm, a, I'm an audio engineer, if you didn't know. Move to my own place, which it's looking good. I should actually be doing reasonably soon. It's kind of unclear. The place I'll be moving into isn't fully built, but I think it's fine. And the third one is to put together a band that I can start writing and recording and playing live with. Currently, uh, there are three of us, three guitarists actually, and three guitarists a, a band does not make, but it's a good start. So, you know, we're making progress. And then there's other stuff, of course like exercise more, expand my circle of friends. As I said, I've been gone for a while and I moved to a new city like two months before traveling. So I don't know a whole bunch of people here. And also expand my social media following, hopefully. I'm like really bad with posting consistently, but I have plans, I have ideas. So get ready world. Also, I, uh, not a lot, but I did a little bit of acting last year and I'd like to continue that. I also, uh, I write scripts. No one reads them, but I write them. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to do some acting and make a short film. But while I was thinking of resolution type stuff, it made me think about the resolutions that I had last year or the year before. And it occurred to me that my resolutions this year are really not all that different from what they've been in the past. And I mean, anyone can correct me, but I tend to think that that's actually the case for most people, that the resolutions we come up with for the new year a lot of the time are either pretty general or 
so incremental that we kind of lose steam or lose sight of what we were trying to do. For me, a resolution I think I've had every year for as long as I've been making New Year's resolutions is to meet more people and to have more of a consistent, tight-knit friend group. And like, no, I, I, I make friends. I'm not super weird most of the time. I think I'm generally interesting and nice, you know. I mean, everybody does, but I'm right, so. But for some reason, since I started college, I think I've had a difficult time holding on to friends. A big part of that is school-related and, you know, travel-related. I don't live in the same city that I did for the past five years. Like, some people are really good with keeping long-distance friendships going, but I've found that I'm not. I have a couple of people that I consistently keep in touch with. They're semi-consistently. One of them I actually should probably text pretty... Pretty soon, it's been like two weeks. <laughs> but it does worry me sometimes that currently, uh, excluding family, related, and in-law, I do not talk to a single person that I met before 2018. And like, I know 2018 was a while ago, but still, I feel like most people I know have some amount of friends that they've known like since they were kids. I know I'm sure that I'm... I know there are a bunch who don't, but whatever. But the question that I actually wanted to talk about is, are resolutions worth it? Is it worth getting our hopes up, amping ourselves up just to inevitably probably be let down to a certain extent for some things? I would say yes. What are those? Uh, the actionable ones. One of the ones that I know I accomplished last year was to run a half marathon. I didn't train quite as much as I probably should have, but I did do a half marathon, and that was a thing that I set out to do, and I did it, and that was an accomplishment. It was, uh, that is off the checklist. I should probably do one again, but what is off the checklist. Other resolutions I have that aren't quite as one-off are, like I said before, like exercise more. I think I could probably put some concrete measurement to it, but that's something I can figure out later. <laughs> and as I said before, move, job, band. Again, on the TV, it's wearing underwear and just shot an arrow and do a bunch of clouds. Oh, it's for Versace, obviously. But I think one of my resolutions for this year is to avoid resolutions, or at least to avoid the vague, nebulous ones, like be a more understanding person. That's not like a thing you do. Those kinds of resolutions are lifelong projects. They're not New Year's resolutions. They're, pro they're things you probably should have already been doing and are gonna be doing for the rest of your life. You don't improve and then stop. So am I gonna have New Year's resolutions? Yeah, but hopefully to stop from being swallowed by the behemoth gargantuan... Gargantuan? Gargantuan? What is that word actually? Gargantuan, right? So, to stop from being swallowed by the behemoth life-changing type of goals, my biggest resolution this year is going to be to have smaller resolutions. Happy New Year. <laughs>